So let's take a look back over here and let's go through and look at this section here. So I'm going to inspect the element on that section there. And you can see that they have a section here. They're calling it banner. We called it our intro component, but you can see it's the same component here. It's highlighting. There is a little bit of padding up here at the top. Um, and then if you come back down and you look, it, it encompasses this whole section and it stops right above our grid section. So this is exactly what we want to copy. So I'm going to right click and do an edit as HTML. And I'll just copy this entire section here and control C to copy, come back over here and we'll create a new component. I'm going to put this one in our components folder. So I'll create a new folder here. So inside layout, I'm going to create a new folder. I'll call it components. You could call it whatever you want. And in here, I'm going to add a new file. So a new file and I'll call this hero.svelte. And inside here, I'm going to paste the code that we just copied and I'll format it a little bit differently. So I'll get rid of some of these extra spaces. And let me come up here. And okay, so we're looking okay. So now we have to try to pull the values out of our homepage component here. So let's come back over here to our homepage and we have this hero component up here at the top, right? So this first component, we wanna pull these fields out of this piece of content and put them into this template over here. And so instead of being hard coded, it actually uses that field. So let's come back and let's do something like this. Let's come in here and let's add a script tag at the top, script. And then in here, we're going to do an export let and we want to use component. Actually, so in here, sorry, what we're doing here is we are getting the individual field values out of this. So on our uh, index template file, we're going to have to go through the components and list all the components on the page. And then in an individual file, we want to get the individual values. So for instance, we have title and other field values we have. So we're looking in the fields of our component. We have a body, a link and an image. So let's get body, link and image. And we'll stop it like that and just save that. And then we'll come down here and let's go in this component here. It looks like they have a break. For now, we're not gonna worry about the break. We'll just put the whole title in this section here. So I'll get rid of this content and I will use the replacement pattern for the title. In this section in here, let's see, let's do a, let's get rid of this. And we'll put, oh, looks like we have another section here. Let's do this. There's a break in there as well. We're not gonna worry about the breaks for now. Let's put the body in here. And then in the link section here, we want to use the link.url here. And we'll use the link title here link dot title here and then down here in the source for the image this is going to be so we have the banner art svg and if we were to look over here you can actually see that we have the banner art svg already so we just have to make sure that this goes in the assets folder so we'll do assets forward slash actually assets our image and I think we just have that as image. Yes. Okay, image. And so we don't need a plus actually, we're just concatenating those together like that. And it looks like we need an alternative text here. So alt text, and we'll make this equal. What is the image about? It is um, two people looking at websites, we'll say. Two people looking at websites and I misspelled image so we'll just make sure that this is correct image here and that is all set there okay and we'll save that now this isn't going to appear on our site at all so if we were to go back over to 
our working page, nothing's going to change here. So that's because we actually haven't put it into the index or the home page template yet. So let's come back here. Let's go to our index.svelte file. And we're going to change this a little bit. So we no longer have the title, but we do have a section called components. So this corresponds over here to this components section here. So we're going to grab that and we're going to loop through this array. So this is an array you can see by the square bracket. And we're going to loop through the array and we're going to get each object out of the array. So the first one's going to be the hero, the second one's going to be the grid, and so on and so forth. So we'll come down here and we'll say each, it's like a for each basically, each components as component, and we'll just change it to component. And then we'll come here, we'll close the each, and let's get rid of this title for now. The title will be in the component itself. We can get rid of this style for that title, we don't need that. And what we're going to do in these components is, for each component, we're going to load the appropriate template. So normally in something like Svelte, you actually have to explicitly call one of those templates out. So you'd have to do something like import nav from nav, right? You'd have to do something like this. Now, we want to do this dynamically. So instead of doing that, we're going to use a special plenty directive. So it's these all components directive here. And we're going to use that to pull out the template. Now this naming convention for all components actually might change in the future, but for now it is all components. And we'll come down here and we'll make sure for each one of these components we have in our data source or our content, we're going to load a component. So we'll say spelt component. And for the this keyword, we're going to pass in an all components object. And in that object, we're going to get the component signature for the component. Now, a component signature is a special named variable. And basically what it does is it takes the path to a component and it changes all the forward slashes and periods over to underscores. So for instance, we have one component here. We have a hero.svelte component. And now that hero.svelte component lives at a special path. It lives at layout forward slash components forward slash hero dot spelt. So that's the component path, but to convert it to a component signature, you gotta come in here and change this period to an underscore, change this forward slash to an underscore, and change this forward slash to an underscore. So this is the component signature for that particular component. Layout components hero spelt. Now in our data source, we could have called out this exact name over here. So we could have said, um, the layout components hero felt right here, but instead we just have the individual names here. So we could actually convert this by just coming back to our index and saying, okay, we, we want this string pretty much like this, plus some variable that will equal hero plus the suffix, right? So we could do something like that. And then we just want to make sure that we're getting the component name. So basically we could say component dot component. And that looks a little funky. The reason that's funky is because we actually named this component here. This would be better to actually name this name. Let's, let's go through and change that real quick. So I'm going to change this to name and I'm going to change it for each one of these components. So instead of calling it component, we'll call it name. Okay. So I changed those all over to name. And let's come back over here to our index and we could just say component.name. I think this makes it a little bit clearer what we're actually doing. So component.name. So this component is the current component from our, our JSON data source and we're gonna get the name from that and we're gonna put it into this component signature so we can actually load the component. So we have to finish this directive here. We have this and what we wanna do next is we actually wanna get the field values out of this object as well. So we have the name here for each component, right? Name, and then we have fields. So let's come back up here to the top. We have the name hero, and then we want this fields value. So let's come back to our index. And what we can do is we can deconstruct this object here. So we can say, give us the, instead of the component.name, we'll do, give us the name fields out of that. And then over here, we can just change this to name, we don't need component.name anymore. And we'll also 
get the fields. So what we'll do is we'll pass the fields in and I'm going to destructure these. Basically, I'm going to spread them. In other words, I'm going to, instead of getting an object fields that we have to pull values out of, it's just going to get the individual fields. So this one will be spread into just title, body, link, image. And that way, when we go to the hero, we can just get those values as they are here. So title, body, link, image. This is exactly what this component expects. And we're spreading the correct fields because we're using a API here where basically the hero has these fields. So it will spread those fields exactly into that component. So we'll spread that variable into there and then we'll close off this Svelte component directive here. And then that should work like that. If I save this, that should be okay. Now, it might give some errors because we're going through a lot of components that don't exist yet. So right here, the data source is naming out the grid component and the image text block, et cetera. But we only really have the hero component. So let's just take a look at our website and see what that's looking like. I'm gonna come back over here. I'll reload this. Okay, so we're seeing something here. We're seeing the title, we're seeing the body, we're seeing a link, and then we see a placeholder for an image. The image isn't there yet. Um, and it's getting close to looking like this. The spacing's a little weird. We, we got rid of some of the markup and some of the classes, so we'll fix that at the end. But let's get it kind of close, and we'll go back. And again, the style's working almost out of the box. You can tell like the fonts and stuff um, look okay. Actually, I don't think we've loaded the correct font yet, but like the button looks okay. Um, that's because we're using the bootstrap CDN and it's pulling in some of those styles. But let's go and let's save this image real quick. So I'm going to save image as, we'll call it banner.art.svg. We'll save that on the desktop. And let's go back and upload it to our assets folder. So let's come here and let's move this over. And inside our assets folder over here, we're going to grab the banner art SVG. And I'm just going to drag that over into assets. Okay. And I can close that. Let's see if we come back over here and give this a reload. Okay, so now we're seeing the correct image there and this section is getting close to what we want here. 